Thanks, Derek. Well, we've returned to the living room to honor the legacy of our friend, Dave Benton. Hi. Hi. Jennifer Roscoe, as you all know, 10 years with Dave. 10 years, and um, I am so grateful for every night that we were able to sit next to each other for three times a night. I, he was my, I call him, he was my TV husband. I was his TV wife, and truly there were times where I was with him for longer periods of time than my, my own <laughs> husband. That's how much um, when you work at this station. And you build that relationship when your anchor is together. And I don't think that people, it's not like a normal business setting. I, it's the, the, when you work with someone so closely, they really do become part of your family. And I was so grateful to be able to be there uh, yesterday. And I held his hand for two hours and um, I don't, I, I'd like to think that he knew I was there, and it, the, we were able to, with, with Terry, his wife, and, and Lauren, and his mom was there, and his sister, and we were able to joke and, and cry and, and joke some more, and at one point, um, his mom said about how Dave was very particular, and I'm telling you, his, his eyebrow kind of went up, and I said, Dave, did you hear that? Your mom's talking about you, <laughs> that you were particular. So I think it's one of those things where we all, we all knew it was coming. Um, it doesn't make it any easier once it, it finally happens, and um, it, it did happen this morning. But um, he gave us this gift. Yeah. A, a lot of people say, oh, people, oh, they taught us how to live. I like to say that Dave really, he taught us how to die, which is, I know, such an odd thing to say. But the fact that he was still when he knew his time was up, right? And people couldn't understand why he was still coming to work. That was Dave. Yes. Dave wasn't the guy who was just gonna fly away and whatever. He knew that he still had to take care of his family, make sure they were okay, and really was so invested here that he wanted to still have a purpose every day. He didn't want to sit at home with his feet up. That wasn't Dave. And even when his health was failing and he was still coming in here and wasn't able to go on the air, he still came in here he was in still his here. shirt and his tie and, <laughs> well, a fleece because he was very cold. After he got cancer, he was always very cold. But um, I think he just taught us how to, how to live your life to the very end. And he was there doing what he wanted to do. He was Absolutely. a journalist through and through, and that's and he lived that right up to the end. Oh, and he took it so very seriously in in every aspect of his life, how he lived his life outside of work. He knew that no matter where he was, he was always representing Channel 3. And when new people would come, and our news director would send them into a conference room with Dave and I, and we always had, we <laughs> called it our pep talk, but right. really it was more like a <laughs> lecture from mom and dad. Um, that was one of the things that we talked about, that you work here, and that is a gift, and you need to uphold that. And um, he did every single day he was here. A lot of people sharing their thoughts on our Facebook page right now, so we would encourage you to go there, share your thoughts, your memories, your condolences. And you know, that's the thing, Dave was so humble about all of this, yes. he was shocked that people would even write in, oh, we think you're great, Dave was, I mean, talk about zero ego. You, you hear about these yes. anchors with these inflated Humble. egos. Oh, my gosh. I mean, that was so the total opposite of Dave. He was surprised by all of this. So really, when we posted that today and within, I would say, three minutes, we had a 1,000 likes and hundreds of, of comments. Um, just please know that Dave is, I truly believe that Dave is reading them all from yeah. up above. And he's certainly feeling them. Jennifer, thank yeah, you. Yeah, and we'll have a lot more um, at 5 and 6. As he laid there today, I said, Dave, you're, you waited until after the holidays, so there was more of an audience, and you're going to lead the news, <laughs> as you should. And I know that, um, that he was laughing, because that's, um, that's what we did. His friends and his family loved him, both here in-house and you folks at home. So a lot more coming up tonight. Please do visit the Facebook page and share your thoughts. Jennifer, thanks.